type of facing, including the procedures and how it attached to the garment. So first, we have a bias facing, the extended facing, and the shape facing. I've already cut the fabric for the shape of neckline and for bias facing. So first thing to do, attach the bias facing to the body fabric of the garment. I use sewing machine to attach the bias facing. Stitch the wrong side of the body fabric of the garment. Then fold twice the bias facing to hide the row edges of the round neck. Then here is the final output for bias facing. Let's proceed to the extended facing. I will use the extended facing to the front of garment. I have here an extended facing, then attach the extended facing to the wrong side of the body fabric of garment. Then use the sewing machine for applying facing. Then Flip the extended facing into the right side of the body fabric of garment. Then, top stitch the edge of facing to support the shape of neckline down to the area of button holes. Then, fold and sew the last part in attaching the extended facing. Then, here's the final output for the extended facing. So, I have here cut it fabric for the round neck and its shape facing. First thing to do, sew the edge of facing. Then, Attach the facing to the round neck of garment. Then, top stitch the right side of facing. Then, sew the edge of facing in the body fabric of garment in order to concise the shape of round neck. Then, here's the final output for the shape facing.